All right, so um, we've got our things sort of working. We can go to each section. Now what I want to do is just actually do those pages themselves. So I'm just going to close out of this, close out of this. Uh, we're going to go here, and I am going to go to the animation um, panel here. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to actually embed a video in here. Okay, so we haven't covered how to do that, so that's something new. Uh, so first what I want to do is actually just import it into my... Um, actually, I don't want to import a library. So I can't actually just bring a video in and slap it on in there. It doesn't work because uh, it's like a special thing, right? So what we're going to do is use something that we haven't really covered, um, but I'm just going to show you. If you go to Window, um, you'll see a thing called Components. And basically what these are, they're sort of pre-made um, objects, kind of like symbols, uh, but they're uh, HTML uh, stuff. So uh, if you've done any, um, but they're pre-formatted and things like that. So for instance, like if I take a button and I drop it in here, it's going to look like this in here. But when I actually go to play it, uh, run it in the thing here, you're going to see it's going to make a generic button. Now, what I can do with that, if I get this out of here, what I can do with that is that it's kind of a button. You can see I hover over it, and you can click on it, and so on and so forth. Okay, and you can utilize these in order to, um, you know, basically make things. Okay, and you can actually go through and add uh, uh, apply CSS. So if you know anything with web design and stuff, all these things can be selected uh, via CSS, the Cascade style sheets, in order to implement whatever it is you want to do. I'm going to stay away from that for the most part, but there is something in here that I do want to use, and that is the video component. Um, utilizing the video component, I can actually bring in video. So I'm going to take the video component, I'm going to drop it in here, okay? And I'm not, I'm not going to use any of the rest of these. Okay, so you have the video component, yay! All right, so now what I want to do is I want to adjust this, okay? So you can see it's just, it's a placeholder in essence. Now what I want to do is I'm going to go over here, and uh, if we go to the Properties panel, you'll see there's nothing really to do. But if you go over here, you'll get actually the um, parameters. And that's going to show you the components, uh, basically its settings and such, okay? <coughs> so, uh, Source, I'm going to click on Source, and basically you have to uh, find your video. So I'm going to click on the folder here, and I'm going to navigate to the video that I want to do. So um, I'm going to grab... Uh, see we did a video in the beginning right yeah so I'm gonna grab that video I did uh, for the first lap and I'm gonna make sure I check on match source dimensions with it too what that does is it's actually gonna take this which is currently I guess it's 43 kind of old school um, and I'll hit Q and I'll hold shift and I'm just gonna scale it down to a usable size here Come on. there we go okay control plus okay. all right great and we'll move it down like that. All right, so now I got this video. Now I have some of these options here, and we could just use these. If you want to just use these, you could. You can see there's autoplay. Um, it'll have controls or not. And, uh, poster image, uh, basically that's the picture that shows up before it's played. Um, but if I preview this, you're going to see what it's going to do is it's going to have its own um, player, which may or may not work for you. Let me see something real quick. Why are you? Oh, huh. Okay. Okay, so uh, I'm going to delete that. Uh, actually, don't delete it. Leave it there. Uh, if you look, I actually put that on the actions. Uh, so that was an oopsies. Uh, so I'm going to take that. I'm going to control X to cut it. And I'm going to make sure on my animation layer and control shift V. Uh, I noticed that when I previewed it, it was there on every frame. And I didn't want that. So. There we go. Um, and then I'm going to pull this off for preview purposes. We're going to go over here. Okay. So you see we have our home screen. I'm just going to go to animation. And here we have it, right? And it's automatically going to start playing it because I had that autoplay uh, feature checked on. But you can see it comes with um, the video player here. Okay. And that's fine. If you want to use that, you can just use that. I think that looks fine. Um, but if you did want to make a custom one, we can do that as well. So I'm just going to show you how to do that real quick. Uh, and go from there. So I'm going to turn autoplay off and I'm also going to turn controls off. Okay. Um, and that's fine. So I'll exit that off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my own play button. And I'm going to do that because that way I can put it up top. Um, uh, because
because I don't know if that's what I'm going to do. So uh, we're going to go to the rectangle tool and uh, we'll guess we'll just leave it as this dark gray. And I'll go like that. And I'm going to hold B and. Oh, I held shift. Sorry. I meant to hold B or alt. Alt and shift and pull it across. Okay. So we're going to call this my uh, play button and this my, um, my, my pause button. Okay. Or stop button. So we're going to control plus. And all I'm going to do is select this. And we'll go to, uh, where are you? Why am I not seeing the pen tools? That's weird. Okay. Well, we'll just do it manually. So I'm just going to grab corner up here. And we'll grab, hopefully. Why is it not letting me pull it down, I guess, because it's being dumb. There we go. And we'll grab this down here. And then we'll just, there we go. And then we'll just grab this. Oh, I thought this. There we go. Oh, nope, didn't snap. Well, we'll call that. I really don't care. Uh, so we'll call that my my play button and my start button, right? So it's not. I would go through and make it look a lot nicer, but just so that you see that there's a thing there that uh, should work. Let's just. Sorry, it's annoying me. Okay. Uh, okay, so now I want to do is just convert these to symbols. So I'm going to hit F8. F8, and we'll make sure it's a button still. And I'm just going to call it the play underscore BTN. Select this, F8, or modify convert to symbol. And then this will be the stop underscore BTN. Great. So now we've got our two buttons, uh, but they're going to need instance names. So we'll just call this play. Play is not a valid, oh, because it's a function name. So we'll just call it um, play uh, oops, play video. I'm sure that's good. Okay, good. And we'll call this one stop video. I'm sure stop wouldn't have worked either. So the reason why that won't work is that those are reserved words, meaning they're part of the code of, uh, I guess, JavaScript. Um, okay, so we have those two things. Uh, this uh, video is also going to need um, uh an instance name, so we'll just call this um, anim video. All right, so select that, call it anim video, and let's get to it. And let's put this, I put it in the side here, let's put these more in the middle ish. That looks good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is select this, I'm going to F9 or go to Window Actions, hit the little code snippets button, and we're going to go over here. Okay, so um. Just to make sure, you know, I think this will work even with the other thing. We're going to need a couple of things here in order to make this work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the component section. So whenever you're dealing with the component, it's a good idea to use the components section of this. So you see how we're underneath HTML5 Canvas? The reason being is that if you try to do some of the stuff with the components, they actually won't work uh, with the regular stuff up here. I don't know. I think... The components, I believe, are using jQuery, while the rest of the stuff is just using um, vanilla JavaScript. Uh, jQuery is just a library of pre-made uh, like uh, classes and things that you can do in order to run your code. Um, anyway, so I'm going to go to components. We'll go to video, and I want to select um, this uh, little clip here, the video uh, thing that I have. And I'm going to double click on this, please. All right, so I got to do this. Add to frame. There it is. And I'm also going to, is there a stop button? So there's pause. Okay. I'm going to select the pause and also add to frame. Oops. All right. Thought I had it selected. Apparently I did not. Okay. And right click, add to frame. Okay. So I actually don't want uh, most of this, but I just want to use some of this code. I just need how to play it and how to not play it. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to go to this button. Okay. And uh, we're on frame two. Hmm. Well, might need to change something here. But um, we're going to go here. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to select uh, this button here. And I'm not going to use the components section. We're going to go up to the uh, actions. And we want to use um, 
play a movie clip. So you're going to just uh, right click and add to frame. Oh, sorry, that's not the one we want. That would work too, but that's not the one we want. Um, action, click to go to frame. Oh, do mouse click event, sorry. Go to event handlers and we're just doing mouse click event, so add to frame. Ugh. Yeah, thank you. I had you selected at one point. Okay. And try again. Add to frame. Okay. So select that. Uh, that's good. So let's just do that one first and then we'll do the other one. All right. So basically, when you click on this, it's going to run what's inside of here. Okay. But what's inside of here, I want to make uh, this uh, playing of the video. The only part I actually want, if you look, it says this, blah, blah, oops, uh, this. Blah, 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 as a function, and then here's the closing. Uh, the only part I actually want is just this here. This is the only part. So I'm just going to control X, and inside of here, control V, and then I can get rid of the rest of that. Get rid of this too. Okay. So that's good. Let's get, okay. So this is the um, pause video. So what we're going to do is select this object now and do another mouse click event. Come on. Add to frame. Okay, get rid of all the extra gobbledygook. And we're going to grab this part here, the pause part, control C. And then we'll go here, control V, and then I can get rid of the rest of it. Okay, so now uh, only these things will happen. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit control enter. Okay, let's pull this off. Make sure it stopped going over there. Okay, and I can click on animation, and uh, there it is. And if I hit play, it's going to play the animation. And if I hit the stop button, it'll stop, and this will play it. So we basically have made our own custom um, aspects here. And we can go to our other things, and I go back to animation, and play, and pause. Okay. So that's if you want to make it custom. Honestly, I probably would just leave it as it was because who really cares, but just so you can see how you would do something like that if you wanted to. All right, good. Okay, so we've got that going on. That's great. Um, so that's one of the things that we did. That was the first project we did was, uh, was that. Okay, so let's go ahead and close these out. So let's go to the interactive, where is it? Um, the interactive section. Okay. So the interactive section was actually that uh, the motion graphic, right? So what you're going to want to do for that is this. We're going to want to open that up. So let's go ahead and open it. So do file open and go to, I'm oh, sorry, I want to go to desktop. And I want you to open up basically that project. So that would have been here. And left finish, open. Come on. All right. So we have it here. And basically, I need to export this out. So I'm going to go to File, Publish Settings. And what I did is this. On my... Ah, let me cancel. On my desktop, I just made a folder here called Portfolio. Okay? And all my stuff's going to go in this. It all needs to be in the same folder in order for what we're going to do to work. Right now, everything would work currently. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, but once we start trying to um, add other elements, um, also when it exports it out, all of it needs to be inside of a folder. All right. So I just have this empty folder called portfolio. So just be aware that that does exist. Okay. So now I'm going to do file, publish settings. <coughs> and I'm just going to tell it to basically publish there. So it's JavaScript, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm going to hit the little folder. And I'm going to have this export out to portfolio. And we will just call this, um, let's call it um, interactive comic all right and we will save it and we'll hit publish and it's going to publish it out for me and it's going to take a while because that's what it does it didn't take that long but it hates me God. All right, then we'll hit OK. Go to that folder, which 
wish that is not the folder that I was hoping for. Where'd you go? Desktop, portfolio. You're going to see that basically I have the things that it is. So I have the interactive comic. And if I double click that, just so you can see what it made, it will be an HTML file that is our interactive uh, business here. Come on. Right. So, yay. Okay. So now I just need to connect that. So I'm going to go back here. And I need to connect it here. So there's a couple ways of going about doing this. Uh, one thing we could do is create an iframe, uh, but it's kind of hard to do in here. They don't have really a way of writing HTML. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a button that goes to it. Okay? That's what we're going to do. So um, we'll just make a big old button. So I'm just going to use my rectangle tool there. And we'll just go like this. And I will um, put some text in it. Just say um, uh, interactive comic, comic, and I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that we make the color white or light white, uh, and we will make the size, let's say, 36. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Okay, that's great. Okay. Now imagine that I spent a lot of time and made this look really nice. Okay, just picture it in your mind's eye. I'm just going to go ahead and convert this to a symbol, and we'll just call this um, interactive um, comic underscore btm. Okay, and we're going to say uh, enter comic. Call it. Okay, so there it is. So we need to have that, and now it's a symbol, and we can click on it, and we can make it do something. So. I was going to hit F9, and on, where are we on? Okay, on this frame here, I'm going to go ahead and hit Code Snippets, and we, oops, okay, back to Code Snippets here. We're going to go HTML5 Canvas, and this time I want to go to Actions, and we're going to click to go to web page. So I'm going to double click on this. Maybe someday it'll work. This doesn't work anymore. I don't know. Just one day it just stopped doing it. So anyway, I'm just going to right click on that. It literally was working earlier and then all of a sudden it just stopped. Okay, so this, blah, 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 blah. And then it's going to open, currently it's going to open up this web page. So you can do this with anything, any button. If you want to, when you click on it, it goes to a website. That's how you go about doing it. It's pretty easy. Um, I'm not going to go to a website though. I actually want to go to that. Uh, I want to open up this. So if you look, see how it says interactivecomic.html? What I'm going to do is I'm going to save my file. I'm going to publish it right in the same area as this. So all it's going to need is just this name. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it, click on it, and grab the whole thing, Control-C. And then in here, Control-V, okay? So you see it says underscore blank. There's uh, two primary ones. There's underscore target and underscore blank. Uh, basically, if it's underscore blank, I think that means that it'll open up in a new tab. If it's underscore target, it will replace the current, like you'll just, like, whatever you're on will go away and you'll go to the other place. Um, one or the, I can't remember which one does which, but that's what the two things are. Anyway, uh, so now when you click on it, it's going to open that up. All right, so that's good. But it's not going to work right now because currently... This doesn't exist. In fact, I haven't even saved it. So we should save this first. Let's go ahead and save this. And I'll save it right into that portfolio folder I made, just to keep everything nice and tidy. And I'll just call it portfolio. Great. And then I'm just going to go ahead and publish this file, publish settings. And we just need the JavaScript, the folder, to, and make sure that it's going to portfolio. Great. And Save and hit publish uh, because it can't go to it unless it exists next to it and currently this file actually doesn't exist so we published it now if I go to that folder you'll see that here's my file here's the HTML so now if I open that up it's gonna pop up and oh, pop open over here Whoop. okay yay and if we go to animation sudden it's not working and what's going on here 
brush it. That's weird. Hmm. Portfolio. Um, so after you did the, I don't know why it wasn't working there, but if I do actually preview it, uh, if I click on it, control enter to preview it, uh, it works over, um, it will actually work. I'm not sure why double clicking on the actual HTML isn't working. Second. Popping. There we go. Pull down. Okay. So, uh, you know, go to animation and we have our little thing. Oh, up. Oh, okay. Uh, go to interactive and then there's the interactive comic. And if I click on it, you're going to see it's going to go right to the interactive comic, which is pretty cool. Which is always fun. You can click and go next and see all the stupid things we did. Okay, good. So, uh, yeah. So there you go. I think I did the sync thing again. I sure did. I put this stupid thing in there. So I'm going to select this, control X, and make sure it's in there interactive and hit control V. Um, because I actually wanted it on this, not on this. And then uh, we're going to select it here and delete it. It shouldn't have been in there to begin with. Okay, now we'll go to the game and we're actually gonna kind of do the same thing. I'll make another button. All right, and we'll make it dark. Oops, select it first. And we'll make it a dark button. And we'll put some text on there. And we'll make it light text. And we'll just say uh, game. All right. And just imagine I did a nice job. Uh, select both items, hit F8, and we'll just call this um, game underscore VTN. And we'll just call it game open. All right. And we're just basically going to do the same thing. Going to go to window. Uh, I'll just say F9. It's easier. F9. Uh, script of the code snippets. Go to here. Now, here's the problem. So if you try to open up the game, um, it won't necessarily work that well. And basically what ends up happening is that when we made it, when we made this game, right? We made, uh, so I, I already opened it up here. When we made the game, the game was made with the idea that it would, we would make it to uh, a, a device, right? Uh, Android or maybe Apple if you get a certification. Or what have you. Okay, so basically mobile, um, which is fine. Um, the other option is we could export this out as um, Flash, as a Swift file. But the problem is, is that Swift is kind of dying. So more than likely, if you try to give somebody it, they're not going to want to open it. So the other option is you can actually export this out as an EXE or if it's on a Mac, uh, an APP. Uh, basically a self-executable file that will just open it up and it's like a program that's running. It's not uh, like a Swift file that's being run in the browser. Um, so what you're going to want to do is I'm going to open up my game here. I'm going to go to File and when I go to Publish it, I'm going to go to Publish Settings. And I don't need this um, the Flash... Oh, uh, let me undo it. Okay, well, whatever. We'll do the flash and the wrapper. Why not? But you're going to turn on the wind projector, right? Or Mac projector if you're on a Mac. But I'm going to do win. Um, hit the folder. And I'm just going to make sure I save it right to the portfolio folder again. And it's just going to be called finish.exe. And I will hit publish. And it's going to ask me for that, that um, certificate. I think, unless it's still... I did it earlier. Ah, here we go. So it asks for that, that certificate. So you got to do is browse for it. Um, I think we did this earlier, but, uh, basically you're going to browse for it and, uh, where are you at? I think we did do this earlier, but you're going to, um, I already have mine right here. So I'm going to grab it open and then mine was just VCP. Uh, if not, you just create one, it'll create one, you give it a password and then you're just going to use that. Okay. So, uh, it's pretty straightforward and we will just then go ahead and hit publish. And it's going to make a .exe file for us, which is basically just an executable, like a program that you double click on it and it will run. Now, uh, unfortunately, there is, yay, okay, and we'll hit okay, and okay, and 
and uh, okay, good, great, thanks. Okay, so that basically inside of my thing put this, this finish, and if you open it up, uh, it, it's gonna make my uh, oh, it's not angry. Okay, oh, there it goes. There you go, Avas. I need to be angry. Yes, I know. I don't care. Stop it. Um, yeah. And see, look, it's like trying to encapsulate it. Let me just play it. Uh, basically, it's going to open it up as a program, and then from there, you can actually... Uh, it, thanks. You're helping me so much. Uh, you can actually play the game, uh, so on and so forth. Okay, so, yay. All right, so th that's in there as well. All right, so now what I need to do is I need to basically um, uh, make that work, and I'm going to use this as a button to do that. Unfortunately, there's no way to embed the game into here. For one, we're doing a canvas uh, web page, so I can't put, I can't take the action script stuff and put it in here. I can't put the game directly in here. I don't want to put the Swift in here. Um, that would be one of the possibilities, but I just don't want to do that because the problem is, is that, like I said, they're just, everyone's getting rid of it. And so it just doesn't make sense to use Flash in its native format. So what we're going to do is basically the same thing we did earlier, where I'm just going to go to the actions, and we are going to uh, add to frame. I'm going to basically have it, instead of opening up um, the uh, a web page, we're actually just going to put in that file, okay? So it was, um, I don't even remember what I named it. Crap. What was the name of it? Uh, I, think it was, I think I forgot the name. I think it's Finish, isn't it? Yeah, finish. Okay, so we're just gonna put in. Should change that name, but I'm just gonna put it in there. It's finish, finish. Dot exe. Okay, and then instead of blank, which is gonna open up in a new tab, I'm gonna do target. Okay, like a this, and then you close that out and close that out. And now, if we go to test this. And we have all of our bits here. I'm going to go to the game. And now what's going to happen is it's not going to do what you would like. If I click on it, it's going to go ahead and it's going to say you want to open it. And then you can save it and then open it and then they can play it that way. Um, that's the only real way of making it work, uh, unfortunately. Um, it would be nicer, obviously, if there were other options. But that's just not really viable at the moment. Okay, so... Anyway, but they can hit that, they can save it, and play it, blah, blah, blah. And then we made a resume section. God bless it. I did the same thing again, didn't I? Yeah. No. Let me see. Yeah, that's there. Oh, okay. I didn't... What is wrong with this thing? Um, I don't know. But anyway, so we now have all that working. So, and then the resume section, you would just put whatever your resume is and you can add more buttons you can remove buttons you can do whatever you want um, and you can play around with the formatting and all that other stuff as well um, but now at least you have um, all of these uh, uh, all of your stuff in one little section and we could take this and you could upload it onto the internet or you could take this whole like let's say you want to have a portfolio you want to send somebody I could take this whole little portfolio this whole folder just you know compress it to a zip folder uh, send to compress zip folder or right click um, compress what is it called pack I forget what it's on a Mac um, but then this has all of the elements in it in order you might want to get rid of these two you wouldn't want to send them to your um, your animate files uh, but all the stuff that you done in animate all exists in there and you can just send that off and then voila there's your stuff so uh, that's how you would make kind of a portfolio thing all right so uh, like I said, this wasn't required anyway, so you can do it or not. Hopefully you got something a little bit out of it. All right, so good luck.